I personally think, Steve, we're over the worst of it. Uh, I think we've seen January being okay. Uh, the, if you look at what's happened, say, for example, in Germany, which is probably our weakest market, we've seen uh, demand really slow in the last quarter. And that's really a psychological thing for the Germans, that they're not spending because of the worries about energy, the worries about inflation. Uh, I think inflation has probably peaked here, with the exception of how the war in Ukraine is going to influence things. Um, and I think that, in a sense, there's been a stimulus given to people in Germany. All the wage increases in Germany are being, you know, you get two for one, so there's no tax on a lot of the wages in Germany, the wage increases that are there to combat inflation. So you've got a really pent-up demand, I think, huge savings in Germany. Uh, and I think that will ultimately drive things. Obviously, the, the one caveat is what's going to happen with the war in Ukraine. Um, look, Steve's teased it up, so I better go there and just talk about it. So, so what caught my eye? What, what caught my eye was um, the headline: cardboard box demand plunging at rates unseen since the Great Recession. It was a, a, this might be a box bloodbath, uh, wrote uh, Rachel Premack um, on January the 30th, and this this piece. Um, came from data collected in the fourth quarter by the American Forest and Paper Association and the Fiber Box Association on Friday. To me, it read like a continuing adjustment of consumer demand and habits after COVID, effectively. But I just wonder to what extent it may also reflect the fact that finally the consumer is beginning to run out of savings and are being impacted by the higher cost of capital now uh, and they are starting to uh, rein in their spending behavior here but it sounds to me like this doesn't reflect the picture that you're reporting this morning maybe this is a north american phenomenon I, I think there's 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 two things jeff that have gone on in a sense because of the boom and the, the supply chain issues that were happening a lot of that has reversed uh, you know the boom in e-commerce for example you know was was unprecedented and i think that has reversed somewhat I think e-commerce is still an important part of the supply chain and will continue to grow. But there is a reversal from the, the massive influx we had of orders based upon what happened in, in COVID. Uh, as well as that, in COVID, people were staying at home and they were consuming at home. And by its very nature, that's a lot more packaging. Individual packaging is, is, is a lot more, um, uh, there's a lot more of it than there is if there is bulk packaging. So those things have reversed, uh, and that, th we're going through the process of that reversal, and that's why you're seeing really a big reversal in the United States. As well as that, y you know, you're seeing uh, there is a, a degree of, of inflationary pressures out there, especially we see that in our Latin American business where a lot of people are cutting back because of inflation. Inflation hits them directly uh, in, in those countries, not so much so in the Western countries that we, that we see here in Western Europe, but in the Americas countries we see that, and probably there's a degree of that going on in the United States.